all right all right my wonderful people welcome to this channel now on this one peace will continue to elude nigeria until yoruba nation is achieved all right this is a statement that chief sunday adeyemo also known as sunday Igbovo, he was the one that came out to say it because everything that is happening in this country now is bad it's just like we don't have any government corruption everywhere poverty unemployment insecurity is bad and definitely you can't just blame these people you can't blame them for fighting for the urban nation agitations and based on them they were like nigeria didn't exist before it was the colonialists that merged us together for their own selfish interest and since we can't work together since we can't relate why can't we just separate that is the best thing ever since nigeria did independence in 1960 up until the nigeria is 62 years old now nothing is good in fact everything has just been going from bad to worse one administration will bring their own problems the other one would increase it the other one would increase it and that is how it has always been and now it just seems like this is the height of it this administration is the height of it everything just became bad in this administration insecurity is now something that is very serious everybody's scared of their lives no one is safe in this country again so that is what sunday iboho is saying that peace will not come to nigeria until the yoruba nation is achieved all right my people please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you are listening to this video so you, you won't miss out on any important news update from us thank you and god bless as you do that so that's just it that's what sunday iboho is saying all right let me give you the news and details the self-acclaimed Yoruba nation freedom fighter, Chief Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Ibohu, has bemoaned the unabated killings and high level of insecurity in the country under the present administration of President Mamadou Buhari, saying with the current situation, the country could not witness peace. He, however, urged all Yoruba sons and daughters to think of having their own independent nation and reclaim their rights, stating that Nigeria is not for the Yoruba. Igboho, who spoke yesterday through his spokesperson, Mr. Olayomi Koiki, against the backdrop of various unrest in the country, noted that he would continue to educate the people, especially the Yorubas, about the Union of 1914 amalgamation that was forced on 371 ethnic groups in what's called Nigeria today. He said, we don't think anyone should talk about election with the insecurity in Yoruba land and the 1999 constitution. Yoruba should think of having their own independent nation and reclaim back our rights. We, we won't force anyone that wants election just as we, we did not during the Ocean and Ikiti, but we'll continue to educate our people about the union of the 1914 amalgamation that was forced on 371 ethnic groups in what's called Nigeria today. Chief remains in high spirits and he would continue to want a peaceful exit of the Yoruba people from Nigeria. Whatever Chief said is now happening in Yoruba land. With the situation of things, Nigeria can't have peace. Why? We don't have union and unity because we are all different. Having a Yoruba nation is priority and won't take the right of other indigenous people that don't want to live on our land so far our constitution is respected so this is what mr olayomi koki is saying and if you check it out what he's saying is true because ever since we gained independence in 1960 we've tried it we've tried staying together it didn't work so you won't just blame these people that want to separate they want to undo what the colonialists did to us they were the ones that caused right from the onset for their own selfish reasons because right from the beginning right from the very beginning before these people they came to colonize us Igbo people were separate yorubas were separate Alsa fulani they were separate so for them to like achieve their aim to get what they want they now join everybody together 
And how is it possible? How can we relate? That has been the problem until now. That has been the problem. Just like bringing three different people with different perspectives into a house to live together. How can they relate? Okay, fine. If as time goes on, they, they understand themselves, then they can live together. But if they don't understand themselves, what's the next thing that comes to mind? Is to separate, go your different ways. So what these people did, nobody should, should blame them because that is just how the country is. Tribalism, nepotism, that is what is disturbing our country today. Now, if you check the Buhari's administration today, almost all the whole people occupying the whole political offices, almost all of them, they are his, his, his people. They are the northern people. That means the thing is we just can't relate. We can't understand each, each other. We can't live together. That's just it. If not, tell me why Buhari would fill all his whole cabinet members with outside people from head to toe. Majority, at least 90% is outside. So that is just how it is. That is how it is. All right, so reading on, on what he said. And I want to say it again. Your nation awareness campaign is coming soon again. We're also looking forward to the next United Nations General Assembly for the next protests. Five million, five million petitions have been completed. Our campaign remains peaceful, according to the United Nations rights of the indigenous people, he explained. All right, so that's it. That's just it. Look at the way Nigeria is now. It's bad, really, really bad. Insecurity, poverty, even ASU strike, and no one is saying anything about it. Okay, so tell me the reason now why these people shouldn't do what they, they have to do. Tell me the reason. It has become necessary since it just feels like there is no government. Anybody that comes into power will just be there to represent their own interests. They will steal and lose the whole force they want to steal, take it to other countries, invest in their own country. And this country is going down every day, every day. It's just building towards a collapse. May, may God just help us. May God help us. All right, so let me take comments. Paul Ogumwa, Paul Ogumwala Day said, The saviors of Omo Odudua are pure by nation. Yes, yes, the saviors of Omo Odudua. That's referring to Sunday Igbo. Another one said, God is my savior, not Igbo. Yes, definitely, God is our savior, and definitely, God will use somebody. God wouldn't just come down and say, Okay, do like this, do like this. He will definitely use somebody to liberate the nation. That's just God will definitely send the Messiah. And with the way things are going on now, that's just how it seems. Komolafe said, sincerely speaking, Nigeria is a scam. That's what everyone has been complaining about. Things are just wrong. Things are just so wrong. And the worst part is that they've been promising us for a better future, promising us, promising us, promising us. But at the end of the day, we don't see anything. All right, so there are more comments here, but I'm going to stop here. Let me know what you feel concerning this matter by commenting in the comment section below and then subscribe to this channel if you haven't so you won't miss out on any news updates. Thank you and bye for now.